My name is Dwayne Potratz. I'm a Solutions Architect at OROC Technologies. In this video, we will be creating an instance using Ansible. The first screen we see is the logon screen. Enter your domain, username, and password. See your sales representative to get this information. Click Connect to continue. The first thing we see is our friendly overview screen, showing what resources we have used and what is available. The first thing we need to do is get our access file. Click on Project, then API Access. Make sure you're in the region that you want to use. We now see our API access screen. We want to download our clouds.yaml file. Click on the download dropdown, then clouds.yaml. Let's switch to a command prompt and take a look at the file. We can see in the YAML file there is information on where to put the YAML file so that OpenStack tools can use it. It also says that we need to add our password to the file. So let's add it in the auth section as described. Next, we need to copy the file to the location indicated. I already have a copy of the file there with my correct password, so I'll skip this step. Of course, we need to install Ansible. On my Ubuntu box, I have used pip3 to install Ansible. Using pip rather than a package, we get the latest version of Ansible. Switching to root, the command is pip3 install Ansible. Now that we have Ansible installed, let's take a look at a WordPress Ansible playbook. I've organized my playbook in a typical fashion with a file called sites.yaml that describes all the plays that we want to use. I've added a directory groups underscore vars and a file primary.yaml for keeping my variables. We can also see the normal roles directory that Ansible expects. Let's start by looking at site.yaml. We can see that we have given Ansible two tasks with many roles. You will also notice that my host points to the local host in my first task. This is because we're going to use dynamic discovery to find our instances to install WordPress on it. We have also pointed to our variables files to use to find variables. Looking at the first task roles, we have a role to add a key pair, network, subnet, router, security, security with rules of set group, and proto port, then server. We will gather some facts and finally add the server dynamically to our host list. Looking at the second task, we see we are using a variable that we have added our dynamically discovered instance to. We are using a user from our variables file. We see there are our roles of common and WordPress. Common will update the operating system and add a few tools to it. WordPress will install WordPress. Let's take a look at our variables file and see what I've defined there. Here we tell it what type of cloud it is, which is OpenStack. Next, we define several items that OpenStack needs. A network, subnet, a CDR for the subnet, a router, a gateway for the router, some DNS servers, the public network we're going to use for our floating IP, the instant short name we want to use, the domain we want to use, the key pair we're going to use, the image we want to use, which is CentOS 7, the name of the security group, the flavor of the instance, the name of our Ansible group or host. We tell it we want to use a floating IP. We want our volume to be bootable with a size of 25 gigabytes, and we want to delete the volume if we delete the instance. We give it a list of security rules we want to use. The rules are firewall rules. Lastly, we need to tell it's the username that our image is using. The username is different depending on the image that we use. Now let's take a look at a few of the roles. Let's start with key pair. You can see there is one task in the role of key pair. Ansible has a lot of predefined modules for OpenStack. They are prefixed with OS underscore. In this role, we give the OS underscore key pair information on how to add our locally stored public SSH key. Looking at the role of network, we can see a similar setup using OS underscore network. Looking at the role of server, we can see the same setup. Of course, there's more information to define here as we need more information to create our instance. 
All the roles have a similar setup using the OpenStack modules. Let's go ahead and run the Ansible playbook. This will take a bit of time. We can watch as Ansible completes the tasks that we have laid out. Considering that Ansible is item potent, if any of the tasks fail, we can run Ansible again. I have also shortened the video for the tasks. The tasks take a bit longer than I think anyone wants to watch. I have not cut out anything from the video. I'm sure you don't want to watch the screen as Ansible does some of the longer tasks like updating the CentOS distro. We can see that the playbook ran without any failures. I can get my floating IP from the task, or I could use the OROC OpenStack GUI to find the IP address of the instance. Let's take a look at our WordPress instance. Here are some of the references to the tools that I have used. We have a reference to the OpenStack client, which is what Ansible uses to talk to the OROC OpenStack cloud. Under it, we have the information on the configuration which tells us where we can put our clouds.yaml file. Lastly, we have a link to the OpenStack Ansible modules giving information on how to use each of the individual modules. This has been an overview of creating an instance using Ansible. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching. My name is Dwayne Powerapps. Please contact us for more information or see some of our other videos.